Hey, what's up, y'all? CP from Blue Clips Productions, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about audio compression and how it affects your work while you're mixing. Um, but before I start this video, I just want to tell everybody, you know, happy holidays or belated holidays and happy new year. Um, I hope, you know, you all had a good time and everybody's safe, your family's good, and just to give my well wishes. Um, but yeah, again, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about audio compression. Um, it's one of the most commonly used effects, but it's also one of the most abused. So I'm going to go back over it, explain it the way that I, you know, the best way that I possibly can. Um, and I know what some of y'all are thinking, right? You probably sitting there like, oh man, what the fuck CP? You talking about compression, man? I already know compression. I've been doing beats. I've been mixing songs. Why the fuck should I listen to yo ass? Slow down, Kimo Sabi. Slow down, because I can bet you money you don't know it as well as you think you do. So for smart-ass motherfuckers like you, I got a pop quiz, and I got them written down right here. So check it out. Question number one. What is an audio compressor used for? A, to make something quieter. B, to make it sound fat. Or C, to reduce the dynamic range. I'll give you a moment. All right, now hold on to that answer. Question number two, compression begins at which point? A, from its threshold, B, from its attack, or C, from its release? I'll give you a moment again. All right, hold on to that answer, because here's the answers to the questions. Question number one again, what is an audio compressor used for? A, to make something quieter. B, to make it sound fat. Or C, reduces dynamic range. If you chose C, you're absolutely right. Compressors are used to simply reduce the dynamic range. That's all it is. All this other bullshit that people say, that's not what it is. Oh, I'm using it to make it sound fat. You know, I'm using it to make something quiet. And Nah, don't. Don't follow that advice. Just understand it's something to reduce the dynamic range. All right. Question number two. Compression begins at which point? A, its threshold. B, its attack. Or C, its release. The correct answer for that one is A, by its threshold. So again, if you thought by fucking with the, uh, what you call it, the attack or messing with the release, like that was going to... That's where the compression starts. Again, you're totally wrong. So if you fucked up these two simple questions about compression, that means you need to watch my video. That means you need to hit the subscribe button. That means you need to calm the fuck down and pay attention. Seriously, because your mixes will get a whole lot better once you understand how to use a compressor in the first place. Seriously. All right. But yo, um, even if you got these questions right, it will be, you know, check out the video. I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to actually go to the computer this time, and we're going to go through this together. I'm going to pull up Cubase, and I'll use that compressor as an example so you get a better understanding. And, um, all right, yo, fuck it, let's go. Come on. All right, so I've already created a session in Cubase. I added an instrument track, and on this instrument track, I inserted a compressor. And um, it's, it's basically the compressor that comes with Cubase. I think it's a really good one to teach people with because it includes a little graphical representation on the bottom right. And you don't have to pay anything extra to get it. You know, when you buy Cubase, it already has it in it. I would have used Reason to do it, but Reason's uh, compressors don't really have a, uh, a good graphical representation. So that's why I'm using this one. And, you know, the, pr the it's the same principles. The principles can be applied to reason. It can be applied to pretty much any other program. But on every compressor, there's four main, uh, four main parameters that you have to pay attention to. You have your threshold, your ratio, your attack, and your release. Now, I know in this one, they have the makeup, the hold, and the analysis. These are pretty good to fiddle with, but they're not necessary. I mean, makeup is probably more necessary than analysis and hold. But for the sake of simplicity, we're just going to focus on threshold, ratio, attack, and release.